So three days in, give us a little rundown on how you're feeling in a slightly new role or really not that much of a new role, but how it's feeling right now. Uh, just excited, man. Excited to be here. Like I said, I'm thankful, grateful, you know, just doing what I love to do. It's been great so far. What do you want to bring to the table that might be different than over? Uh, we're doing a lot of the same stuff. A lot of things that you and uh, our Jeff and I did, you know, we're all collaborative. So we're just trying to keep it going. If anything, just take it to the next level. How was it working with Coach Bradley so far? It's been great. I mean, he's a no-ego guy. I mean, you look at his resume, so to speak, you would never know he's that accomplished on how he carries himself each and every day and how he works with everybody else on the staff. He's been great so far. So when you're running linebacker drills and the guy who's been coaching for 35 years is watching you, how's that How's that feel? It's been great. He just gives, gives me the autonomy to do what I do, and he wants to watch and get an overview of how everybody's moving around so he can get a feel for all the players and get to know all the players. So it's been good so far. It's more of just what we've been doing, business as usual around here. What went into the move to uh, move um, him Miles. inside? Uh, Miles. Who's that? Miles. Miles. Sorry. Yeah. Just to just to get him in the center of the action at all times. You know, there's at times where he's playing the outside linebacker position where you know you can get isolated a little bit. You know, so now we got him right there, uh, right in the middle of things, and you know he's just doing his thing. Is that kind of a natural progression for him, just given his skill set? Yeah, no doubt. I mean, he's a great cover guy. He gives us a lot of flexibility and versatility from a cover standpoint. You know, where we can put him out on the slot, on man, in man coverage, and do some of those different things. So, it gives us a lot as far as uh, versatility and flexibility on defense. How, how's Kenny Young stepping up? Kenny's been great. I mean, he's an extremely hard worker. Football's extremely important to him. I think the key thing this offseason was just improving his recognition and developing his eyes so he knows what he's looking at. And he's really picking up things. You saw a screenplay today. He sniffed out pretty good. And that's all part of the things that we really emphasize with him this offseason. Is there anyone who's particularly stood out to you this week? Uh, uh, not necessarily. I think they're all doing a great job. They've done a really nice job just picking up where we left off. We haven't added anything. We're doing, you know, a lot of the same stuff that we've been doing, you know, just trying to do it better, you know, and that's one thing in uh, keeping the same kind of system in place. You can develop that continuity, you know, for years and years and years. You keep, you know, building that muscle memory, so to speak. How's Josh Woods doing at the transition? Josh has been great. I mean, he has a very hungry kid, very smart kid, learns well. He's been great to work with. Like, he just pulled me to the side, Coach, can we get some extra work? You know, can we get some extra work later today in the film room? So he wants it. You know, he has an incredible desire, appetite for football. And he's going to – I told him the other day, man, just don't, don't worry about what's going on right now. You're swimming. I understand that. But just remember, when we get out to San Bernardino and your fellow classmates come and it's the first time for them, you're going to be so much more advanced and so much more ahead of the curve come San Bernardino. How does Cameron Griffin look to you so far? Cameron's been good. He's been really good. You know, he's coming along really nice, just, you know, getting back from the shoulder. But, he's, you know, he's really good. He's just working him back into football shape because he hasn't done a lot of this. You know, he's got a little tired there today. But, you know, just keeping emphasizing to him, function when you're tired. Because, you know, fatigue is going to be inevitable in this game. It's just how you manage it and how you handle it when it happens. Is the shoulder 100% for him at this point? Oh, uh, that would be a better question for him. Honestly, I'm, I'm not a doctor. I'm just, I'm just the guy trying to teach him how to play linebacker. I don't know what's going on with his shoulder. What went into the thought for Dwight Williams to move to safety? That would be, again, a better question for Dwight. And Coach Martin and Coach Moore, I had nothing to do with that decision. Okay. That's it.